In this video we're going to complete example 2, but before we do that we're going to have a little discussion about what an equivalent expression is all about. To help illustrate this I'm going to take two expressions. Let's take the expression 2 plus 3 and let's take a second expression 3 plus 2. Now these expressions are equivalent and the reason they are equivalent is because they equal each other. The word equivalent basically means equal. Let's now look at two algebraic expressions that are equivalent to each other. Let's take a plus b and b plus a. We know that these expressions will be equivalent because it doesn't matter the order in which you add things. If you go a plus b, you'll get the same result as if you added b plus a. So how can we check if expressions are equivalent to each other? Well, let's take a plus b and b plus a, which we know are equivalent. And let's chuck in a third expression that I reckon won't be equivalent. Let's take b minus a. So we know that a plus b and b plus a will be equivalent, so we'll put an e there. And b minus a probably won't be, so we'll put an n above it. Now, let's just pick a couple of numbers. Let's say a equals 1, and let's say that b equals 2, and let's substitute them in. So for our first expression, a plus b, this would be 1 plus 2, since a is 1 and b is 2. This will give us a solution of 3. Let's take the next one b is 2 and a is 1, so b plus a also equals 3. And when I take my third expression, b minus a, b is 2 and a is 1, and 2 minus 1 equals 1. So what we notice here is the equivalent expressions came up with the same solution, but the expression that wasn't equivalent came up with a different solution. Now does this prove that a plus B and B plus A are equivalent? Well, not really, and I'll, I'll show you why this doesn't always work. Let's take a different scenario. Let's take A to equal 0 this time, and let's take B to equal 2. For our first expression, A plus B, this would turn out to be 0 plus 2, which equals 2. For our second expression, b plus a, this would be 2 plus 0, which also equals 2. Once again, both our equivalent expressions gave the same result. Let's now look at what happens with the third expression, b minus a. This would be 2 minus 0, which also equals 2. This time you'll notice that all three expressions came up with the same result. So what do we learn from this? Well, if you get the same result, it doesn't necessarily mean that the expressions are equivalent. But if you come up with something that is a different result as what occurred here, that does prove that they are not equivalent. So as we go through example two, what we're really looking for is one expression which is not equivalent to the others. Because in example two, we are told that two of the three expressions are equivalent, but one is not. So we've got to just figure out which one is not equivalent. So starting with question A, let's pick a value. So let's go A equals one and substitute it into our three expressions. So for our first expression, if a is 1, we get 1 plus 1 plus 1, which equals 3. For our second expression, a plus 2, if a is 1, we get 1 plus 2, which is also 3. And for our third expression, 2a plus 1, we're going to go 2 times a, a being 1, plus 1 equals 3 as well. So this didn't really help us because all three of them came up with the same result. So we need to pick a different a value. Let's try a equals 2 this time. For our first expression, a plus 1 plus a, we get 2 plus 1 plus 2, which equals 5. For our second expression, 
If a is 2, we get 2 plus 2, which equals 4. You'll notice this time they are different. And for our final solution, 2a plus 1, which is 2 times a, or 2 times 2 plus 1, we get 5. You'll notice that the first and third expression came up with the same result, but the second expression came up with a result which was different. So our equivalent expressions, which we need to circle, would be the first one and the third one, since the second expression is definitely not equivalent to the other two. Let's now move on to question B. This time we've got three different numerals, A, B, and C. So I'm going to go A equals 3, B equals 2, and C equals 1, and we'll see if this works. Starting with our first expression, A is 3, B is 2, and C is 1. This would give us a solution of 2, since we do our brackets first. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. For our second expression, A is 3, B is 2, and C is 1. 3 minus 2 minus 1 equals 0. And for our third expression, A is 3, B is 2, C is 1. We need to do our brackets first, so 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 minus 3 equals 0. So only two of our expressions came up with the same solution. We know that the first expression is definitely not equivalent to the other two. So we are going to circle the second and third expression to say that these are the equivalent ones. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.